you think you've won big through Publishers Clearinghouse, but turns out it's happening to quite a few people. Yeah, call for action problem solver, our Carice Jackman tells us more about the sweepstakes scam and what you should watch out for this morning. Oh, who doesn't remember those commercials where people open up their doors to a sweepstakes win? But the AARP is warning people about sweepstakes scammers trying to rip you off. Victims usually get a message either by phone, email, or social media saying they've won a prize. But to get it, they need to send a fee or collect it. Or they may send a fake check in the mail and ask for a handling fee to get the rest of the fake prize. Just like many scams, the payment is usually non-refundable, like a wire transfer or a gift card. Sometimes the fraudster tries to get the person's bank account information. If you hear you won a sweepstakes, you have to have already entered into the sweepstakes or lottery. They're not going to call you or email you just out of the blue. And Publishers Clearinghouse does not call winners. They either show up at the winner's home like you see on TV, or for smaller prizes, they send you a certified letter. Also, before you do anything, make sure you Google that company to make sure they're legitimate. 